I'm Sharad Paul. Um, I'm based in New Zealand. I'm a senior lecturer in surgery at the University of Auckland. Um, I'm also a senior lecturer in skin cancer at the University of Queensland. Um, I've been teaching um, skin cancer and surgery courses to residents as well as primary care physicians since 1996. In 1995, we set up one of the first Australasian skin cancer um, training facilities in Auckland. And I guess part of um, I love um, teaching students both reconstructive techniques, helping them manage their day-to-day -day practice better, um, as well as um, allowing them to come back and have refreshers. Uh, so I guess from having been doing it for 16 years, built up a wealth of experience in both uh, teaching methods as well as what works for uh, GPs or primary care physicians. Yeah, the skin cancer surgery workshop, I mean, uh, previously as part of the health search certificates I was doing the intermediate surgical workshop. And what it allowed us to do is as we uh, developed a range of students who had completed other courses and moved on to more advanced things, um, this course actually helps us hone their skills, develop their techniques, um, as well as um, have a refresher because if they're working in say in a rural general practice or, or in a primary care facility, they may not have the day-to-day -day collegial relationships that I have or the backups that I have. So these courses not only give them a refresher in the anatomy, give them practical hands-on approach, uh, troubleshooting, answering the questions, as well as I always try and make myself available for them after the courses so they can contact me for advice. And I constantly get emails asking for, I mean, they'll send me pictures saying, what do you do here? And I think it's just keeping that collegial links is important. Yeah, I think so. I generally pitch it at what we'd have our probably second year residents when you teach um, uh, plastic surgery registrars. Um, I think most of these doctors have been doing skin cancer for a while. Most of them have already been through the courses where they can suture properly. So really what I'd expect is that they already understand uh, skin cancer margins, they understand how to close wounds properly, they understand wound care principles. Uh, what we're trying to do is uh, go into specific areas each time. So for example, um, this weekend we've done a course focusing on the nose and lower limb. So what we've done is we've gone on surgical anatomy pertaining to the lower limb, uh, how you take grafts and flaps. And most of these guys may already have done some flaps and grafts, but we fine-tune them and say what are the pitfalls, what to look for, what to avoid. Um, so and then we work with their technical skills, have a look at them, so we hone them. Uh, make sure we can correct any deficiencies. So when they leave the course, not only they're more confident, they have a good understanding of the anatomy, they understand managing pathophysiology, as well as overall they're more comfortable and they know how to audit their work as well. Yeah, I think certainly for a start, um, the first day you usually see a huge step up for them, you know, people when they come in, uh, you know, obviously they've done that for a while and sometimes it means correcting old techniques. But certainly what you find on day two is massive improvement um, in confidence, um, skill level. They certainly can take away, from a practical point of view, an increased ability to handle more complex cases than they could before. And also a degree of confidence either in what they were doing was right and reinforced or they've corrected the techniques enough to know that how they can improve in the future. And more importantly, working in collegial atmosphere of say 40 people, they're able to see others at a similar skill level, interact with them and work together really. So I think all in all it's a really great learning experience. So most of the people who finished this week in workshop when they left said to me that we'll see you in October when is our next workshop. So obviously they see coming back for a refresher again useful.